Okay, we want to find the antiderivative of this function. We have the function to be e to the power sine of x divided by secant of x. And we are doing that over the x variable. Okay, great. First of all, I would like to rewrite this function as the integral of... Now, keep in mind, secant of theta or secant of any angle is the same thing as 1 over the cosine of the other angle. That tells us that this function will become e to the power sine of x times, in place of secant, since secant is 1 over cosine, that means we're just going to have it to be cosine of x. And we put dx over here. Okay, great. The next thing I'd like to do is to do a usurp. And that's motivated from the fact that the derivative of sine will give us cosine of x, all right? So if I make u, if I say let u be sine of x, all right? That means that du will be cosine of x. That's the derivative of u with respect to x, so I can put the dx over here. Okay, so given that, that means that this integral will become the integral of e raised to the power of, now sine x, we've just called sine x u, right? So in place of sine x, I'm just going to put in u. And then you notice that the whole of this, cosine of x dx, which we now call du, is over here. So we can just replace the whole of that with the du. Okay, and that's very nice. So what we have is to take the antiderivative of e to the power u. Since that is just over the u variable, you notice that this exponential function remains the same when it is integrated and when it is differentiated. So the antiderivative of e to the power u stays the same. That is just e to the power u. All right? And here is nice because we've just integrated that. But then we need to get back to the original variable. So since u... Um, is in the original variable, but since u is the same thing as sine of x, so in place of u over here, we are going to put in sine of x. So this will become e to the power of sine x. And we are done, we just add an arbitrary constant. And this right here is the antiderivative of the function over there. So how do you know if this is correct? Well, if you differentiate this, it should give you this integrand because the antiderivative of this integrand is giving us this result. Okay, great, right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.